and not likely to be. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's another kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio. If your girl, your wife, live in whatever, is demanding to go out on girls' nights out, where she goes to nightclubs or other hookup locations, pays a cover charge, gets soused, and is out there on the dance floor with guys who probably are groping her or flirting with her or whatever, uh, you tell her that uh, she can do whatever she wants, but you're out. Out! If you live through that, if you tolerate that, you have no idea what's happening. Let, let, let me uh, read you an email from somebody who knows... What time it is here. This is a listener whose name I will not use. But uh, he apparently has a lot of experience with this. Let me, uh, let me read it to you. He says, regarding married women in bars and nightclubs. I do not date women who are married, engaged, or in a serious relationship. I ask, and on many occasions I find out the next morning that the woman had lied regarding not being one of the aforementioned. All I can say is, for some weird reason, the only women most likely to hit on me in bars are either married or engaged. I am well known in several nightclubs. And the word quickly gets around who the nice guys are. That is, the guys who are discreet, not sexual predators, be seeking relationships. There is like a five-step route to the married woman fooling around. He gives the five steps. One, typically the hesitant married woman is talked into going out by her single girlfriends. Two. The first time she is timid or shy, but is flattered by the attention being given and becomes a bit curious. The wedding ring many times is still being worn. Three, she was a good girl the first time, so she is more easily convinced to go again. Four, she tries it again, and this time she allows a guy such as myself to dance with her or buy her a drink. This time, often the wedding ring has been removed. And finally, five, after a month or two of this, she begins showing up even when her single girlfriends are not available. Typically, the fiancé is winding down regarding going out. However, many times she is also the one likely to be sowing her oats one last time. I know one incident where a woman bought seven condoms from a lady working the women's restroom because she performed sexual favors for seven different guys on a Friday night, Saturday morning. Next day, she was wearing her white wedding dress. In fact, not knowing it at the time and believing that I was a stud being taken home by five different women during a six-week period from the same bar, I was actually being passed around by the five of them. Why? They were all engaged, and they all had sleep with a black guy before getting married on their to-do lists. So any guy who thinks that it is okay for his fiance or wife to still go to bars without him is completely ignorant. He says, P.S. I have at least 300 photographs which I will never share on my MySpace page because they contain the images of women who are or were married or engaged. one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. This is Dana 
On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Dana. I could not agree with you more on this subject. Um, little backstory. I come from um, the era of the underground rave, loving dance music, loving club music. I can't get enough of it. I am now married and have a child, and my husband, I'm to the point where it makes him want to hurt someone, hates that kind of music just that much. And for that simple reason, because he won't go with me, I won't go. I know what goes on there. I know that if you're not dressed like a tart, you stand in line for an hour and you don't get in. So you have to dress like a tart, like you said. And the majority of the women that are there pretty much are just there to get attention. And I don't want the attention. I don't need the attention. I get it from my husband. So I don't go. As much as I would absolutely love to, I don't go. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because uh, there are many marriages where men and women are fighting about this issue as we speak. Absolutely. Absolutely. And any guy, I think, that would let their girlfriend, wife, live-in, whatever, go without them on a girls' night is stupid. They're blind. They... I don't know if they're just in love and they want to pretend like it's not happening. But even if she's not doing anything, she's still getting all the attention from the guys. She's still getting drinks bought for her all night. And, I mean, it's just that's what happens. That's, especially the places where you're paying a $20 cover charge, where you have to dress like a tart, where you have the lady that you have to tip in the bathroom. I and mean, that's what goes on there. What did you think of the email I read at the beginning of this hour? Uh, interesting. Very interesting. And I think it's probably very true. Although if I were him, I probably would post the pictures of the girls that are now married. Because <laughs> <laughs> they kind of deserve it. <laughs> well, they didn't do anything to him. They just gave him what he wanted. That's very true. That's very true. But what, how is it hurting him? not hurting him by putting their pictures up there. It's hurting them. They well, I've looked at his MySpace day. page, and uh, he does, certainly has enough pictures of other women up there. I'm, I'm completely convinced this guy knows what he's talking about. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Here's Chrissy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Oh, I'm I didn't hear you because I'm on my cell phone. I just want Everybody's to on their cell phone. <laughs> I um, Should guys be that insecure? Why do you assume somebody's insecure for having this policy? Well, because, I mean, if my boyfriend wants to go out, I have no problem with that. So why should so what he if, have a problem? So what if he wants to go to a swingers club? Well, no, that's, that's just for sex. Well, what do you think nightclubs are for? Well, I don't. I personally don't like nightclubs. I'm not a fan. If your I boyfriend don't... wanted to go to a nightclub, write he this down. Yeah, write he this down. Write this down. Fine. He likes to. Yeah. Guess what? He's probably up to no good. <laughs> but I don't understand. Like, I mean, I go out to the bars with my friends, and I don't. You know, I just I don't get, take drinks from other people. Do you dress like a slut? No, because I go to bars, not nightclubs. Well, by many bars have women dressed as sluts too. If if yeah, they're I'm, if they are I hookup mean, locations, I don't dress like that. <laughs> right? That's not my thing. Yeah, so you don't go to places where people hook up. I mean, I'm sure they probably do, but I don't go to places where that's the intent. I mean, I'm, well, people can hook up at a bus stop. The point is, there are places that are designed for that purpose. Correct, and I don't go to those. All right, well, then, that's, then it's not a problem. But no, I'm but telling you, there are women who go to these places where there's a line to get in, and there's a there's a cover charge, and you have to look like a tart to get in. Mm -hmm. And then when you get in, there's thumping techno music playing, and it's dark, and there's gropey guys in there who want to buy you a drink. Yes. Now, if you are married and your girl wants to go out to places like that, you've got big problems. But I feel like they're just being insecure. They just say, you can't do this. No, no. I never say, I never tell people what they can do. Here's what I tell people. You can go to clubs all you want, but uh, I'll be out of here by Saturday. It's not, you don't think that's a bit rash? No, not at all. 
Okay, the, put him in the. You by the no, way, by totally the way, when I'm do, if I'm dating a woman, if I'm just dating her, mm -hmm. I have my place and she has her place. I don't care where she goes. I don't care what she does. I don't what care do who she. Do? I don't care who else she sleeps with, or how late she stays out, or if she goes out with the girl. Couldn't care less. If I'm paying your rent, if I'm paying the bulk of the mortgage payment, that I'm telling you, I am not sitting home while you go out and do that. I'm not doing it. Okay, with my old boyfriend, like we lived together, but I paid like fifty percent, a hundred, you know, just down the middle. I'm, even then, I'm home. still making. I'm your roommate. I'm still making it possible for you to be able to afford to dress like a tart and go out to nightclubs. Huh. All right. Now, if you want to live on your own and do what you want, I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I won't live with somebody who insists on doing that. I should tell you, I should tell you, so you see, I'm not controlling at all. I don't tell people what to do. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell people what to do. I can tell you what kind of person I won't live with, what kind of person I won't be involved with, what mm -hmm. kind of person I would never marry. Yeah, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. But that, how is that controlling you? Well, I guess like, it's not controlling. I was just wondering about, you know, be, like, the insecurity of like, you know. There's no thoughts. insecurity about it. Right. It, it, women who go to those places, nine times out of ten, that's why they're going. Mm -hmm. And that email I read at the beginning of the hour is a perfect example. I'm sure women have the best of intentions when they first start doing that mm -hmm. after they're married. But eventually their defenses break down. Yes, I know I know guys that have, you know, slept with engaged women and what have you. Oh, are you kidding? Do stuff. you know how many bachelorette parties I've invaded? <laughs> You're laughing. I can imagine. You know, somebody recognizes me from the radio show, and suddenly they're all tittering around me. <laughs> and they're all drinking. Mm -hmm. We have a limo. Come on out the limo with us. Do you know how often that happens? Very often. Very often, yes. So, as far as I'm concerned, again, you know, if I'm just having sex with somebody and I see them once in a while, mm -hmm. I don't care what they're doing. Okay, but, like, my thing, so, like, you know, I go out, you know, not that often, but, like, you know, when I get with my girlfriends and we'll go to just, like, a bar, not a sports bar, because, you know, that's just all men, and not clubs, because that's not my scene, but just, like, a bar. Was that unacceptable? Depends on the bar. Now, let me give you an example. Okay. Uh, not far from where I live, there is a Chinese restaurant that I love dearly, and I've been going there 20 years, called Genghis Cohen. Mm -hmm. It's fairly well known in West Hollywood. They've got a bar that seats six people. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows everybody. The Laker game is on when the Lakers should play. It's one of my favorite places to watch the Laker game. Now, if I were married and I am busy working and so my wife says, I want to go down to Genghis and I'm just going to go down there and have an egg roll at the bar, maybe have a drink. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. It's a neighborhood place. I know everybody there. I'm fine with it. But then let's say it's someplace else. Let's say it's uh, someplace like uh, the Highlands, the club at uh, Hollywood and Highland. Mm -hmm. And there's a line to get in, and there's a cover charge, and there's thumping music, and the place holds 1,200 people. Mm -hmm. People are not going there to have an egg roll and watch the Laker game. Okay, yeah, because like, I go you know, to like, meet up with like my girlfriend, have dinner, and then have some drinks. Yeah, but again, it depends on where you have the drinks. Yeah, I mean, it mostly, actually, this is, um, I'm, this is my girlfriend. I, I'm from Boston. We used to go out there, and, you know, we go out, like, in town. But, like, again, like, not, like, nothing really with, like, loud music or dancing. Yeah? Just, you know, just like a regular bar where, you know, you can just sit and talk and not have people bother you, because I don't like to be bothered. Right. So that's, you know, something like that. Right. But you know, in Boston, there's a perfect example. I lived in Boston for a year. I lived on Beacon mm -hmm. Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are certain bars where it's a neighborhood bar, like the TV show Cheers. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's other bars where uh, people who go to Harvard, people who go to Emerson College, people who go to one of the local universities, where they hang out playing darts and picking up chicks. Yes. And listening to very loud music. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to go there, you should be single again. Okay. Understandable. I think so. Yeah. But I uh, here's the thing. I love when women call me insecure. They call me controlling. I don't control what anybody does. You can do whatever you want. 
and so can I. And so if you decide you're going to go out to these places, I'm, I might decide I'm going to leave. So are you trying to control me now? <laughs> I'm just going to leave. You go out with your friends. Have fun. Okay. All right. Next. That's not Wait. controlling. No. I'm telling you, you are free to do whatever you want, and as long as you're going to be doing it, I'm finding a new apartment. Okay. So then if you tell me not to do that, who's controlling who? Yes. All right. Can you blow me up, Tom? Yes, I can. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Man, you know, you need to exterminate this broad on the line, man, because all I'm hearing is, me, 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 me. Oh, we're on our show, man. She's the kind of chick that you talk about all the time, man. It's the Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's JoJo. Bob the Tom like it. Show hello. Hi Tom. Hi JoJo. I just wanted to let you know that I agree with that last phone call on your behalf. Thank you. Uh, if you're married and you made a commitment, you don't need to go out to any bars. And if you do, you take your husband with you. But there are bars you can go to that are not hookup joints. Well, I mean, if you guys just want to get out. For the evening, and that's the only place you know to, where to go. Then take your husband. Well, if you're that stupid that, that you no, aren't aware, no. of... <laughs> I, if you, you made a commitment. No, what I'm saying is, if you're not aware of what other bars are in the area, well, anyone who says I don't that go is just often. No, I wouldn't know that. Uh, but come on, you drive past the Macaroni Grill, I'm sure, or you drive past uh, El Torito. We're Torino. not going out for dinner. We're going out for drinks. Well, but these places that's all it. have bars, and it's a great place to sit and have a drink. Uh, these are, uh, for me, relatively asexual places. Then we will go there. As an example. But as long as we take each other with each other. That's all I have to say. All right. But my question is, I've heard in the past that you said once you're 40 or over 40, you're expired. What does that mean? Actually, I said 30. 30? Oh, well, then I'm way over your expiration date. What does that mean? Well, I mean, you know, again, as a man of uh, money, power, and fame... Uh, you know, I have my choice. I have the pick of the litter. Uh, there's a guy for you. He just doesn't make a seven-figure income. Well, exactly. That's your choice. So if right. two people make a choice to be together, whatever age they are now. Now, for a woman, the older she gets. They love each other, and they're still having a good time, then but, it's great. Well, I'm, I'm not suggesting that guys who are married just uh, get a divorce so they can get a new model. I suggest they not get married in the first place. So that Why? they what's rather. Wrong the, what, what's wrong with the institution of marriage? Why buy when you can lease? Cool. Well, hey, that's a car. We're people. Uh, same thing. Uh, women and cars have what's a lot the same in common. Thing? How do we have them? How, how are we in common with cars? Because there's nothing like getting a brand new vehicle that's new car smell. When you drive a vehicle off the lot, it loses 20% of its value. Over the and why years, do you think that a woman loses any value just because they get older? <laughs> because the crow's feet kick in, the wrinkles kick in, the turkey neck Actually, kicks in. Actually, you get better as you get no, older. No, 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 no. No, that's that's not true. That's that is wishful thinking by women. It's not wishful thinking. It's absolutely. What do you mean true. you get better? Better looking? Better everything. Better looking? Yeah, absolutely. You really th so you think Brooke Shields looks better now than she did when she was sixteen? Yeah. Uh, I do. There's not a man. There's immature. not a. There's not, not a man immature. alive. There's not, not a man alive. Not, not a straight man alive who believes that. No, no, I don't think so. There's not a straight man alive who believes that. No, I don't think so. Uh, well, again, darling, you're in denial. Beautiful. Now she's just more mature. Well, let's. A lot let of me. Men love I'm gonna. I'm. I, women. I got guys on the line. I haven't talked to them. They're calling about something else. I'm gonna take you're these. Just want to be with a woman for. Sure. I will take. Well, let's take. Well, but darling, it doesn't matter what a woman's perspective is. Again, what matters is what men think because. It's it's men who decide whether or not they think these women are hot so or getting better. Think. Well, women love to think they're getting better. It doesn't mean men think they are. 
Well, as long as we think we're getting better and they agree and they're still with us, then how are we wrong? But again, he, he, well, yeah, like what man is going to say, you know what? You were better looking when I married you. Yes, what what man? What man would say that? He's going to get his My balls whacked off, huh? My husband says that to me all the time. Well, he has to say it to you. He doesn't have to say it. Yes, he, he does. I am yes, and I know when he's lying. Yes, he has to say that to you. Do, do you ever ask him if you look you fat in those pants? You ever ask him if you look fat in a particular article? Of how do I look today? No, because you know what? I look in the mirror. I need to judge myself. Mm, so, well, you, you realize most I women most women me. will ask us what we think of how they look and what they're wearing. I don't really, I don't really care. Any intelligent That's individual who wants to get laid in the next six feel. months, That's any intelligent man who wants to get laid in the next six months would not say, you, you look fat in that dress. Wait, 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 you think you still Even like when you do. Because I'm 40, I still have my parts. Which, whoa, whoa, makes me Your different. parts? Well, you know what? A, a, a Studebaker still has its parts. It doesn't mean that it looks brand new anymore or that it... Uh, yeah, but sometimes a brand new car will break down because they haven't fixed it correctly. But an older car will work. Older cars break, break down. down all the time, and they squeak, and they need to be lubricated all the time. They don't even. Women and cars have a lot in common. Yeah, you know, you know how much you have to lubricate an old car. They get all smashed up. Do you know how much you have to? Do you know how much you have to lubricate an old car? Just like women. You don't need to lubricate. Oh yeah. A woman, a car lady, but not a woman. Are you kidding me? No, I, I get. I'm. You know I'm gonna take. You know I'm gonna take. You know I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I am gonna take these. You know I'm gonna take these. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take these men at random. I don't know. They're calling about something else. But let's find out. Bruce, when a woman hits forty, is she getting better or is she heading downhill? Who knows, Tom? You don't have an opinion. No, not not about that. What I was calling about. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to what you're calling about. I just need a quick answer from you, and you can give me any answer you like. Well. You know what? She's basically, I don't even know. These chicks are, are all crazy. All right. Enough is enough here, uh, Jermaine. Let me ask you the same question. A woman turns 40. Is she going uphill or downhill? Obviously downhill, just like sports. When you get older, you can't perform like when you were younger. I mean, no, look at no, these. No, that's not true uh, because you're immature when you're younger, so you don't know what you're doing. Well, he you get older, you're very he experienced. He said physically. He meant physically, mentally, you everybody. You get older physically. At forty, you kind of like peak. No, Jordan, Jordan was one of the best basketball players of all time. When he hit forty on the Wizards, he never made the playoffs. When Jordan was twenty, but I'm a car. I'm a human being. I'm a woman. I take care of myself. I take pride in myself. Cars and women do have a lot in in common. They do. By the way, Michael Jordan's a human being too. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, but he's a basketball player. Even in football, you're, you're 36. You're over, already over the age. All right, here, tell, tell me this. Tell me this. A 40-year-old woman, an average 40-year-old man. You're barely hitting your prime when you're 40. You're, like, ready to. Oh, stop no, it. No. Because you know what? We're more mature than men. 40 is not prime. I'm not saying there aren't good-looking 40 year old women. Them, we let them think that everything's cool, everything's fine when we're all young and it's going on. But when we really hit our prime. Then we give it to them, and that's when they see the real woman. But again, you don't look great. You yeah, don't. You're talking you know? you don't not, even know what like. not emotionally. I don't, I don't have to see it. Physical. I don't care how experienced you are. Yeah, you well, don't what, look what, great. Is, what, is it all physical? What about mental? For about men, how yes. You are. What about how? We don't care about. We're not what sleeping what with your brain. We're not having sex with your brain. All of that would matter. All of that would matter mentally and everything. We were trying to build a relationship and stuff like that. But watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry about that. They'd all be doing each other, and that's it. Well, if actually, if people, if women got on men's thinking, everybody would be on that. And women and men would all be a lot happier if everybody kept it real, didn't get involved with all that emotional stuff, feelings, and all this and that, and just kept it real and kept it in a good circle. You meet somebody, you kick it with them. Just keep, like Tom said, build a team, keep it, you know, keep your but team I'm moving. I'm saying that if he wanted to go, you know, have a little tiff i wouldn't go with him mom i we're together in this this is we're together do you know why they invented viagra and cialis it's it's because the guys of that age have to look at their wives naked yeah you know if they if they had young chicks to look at they would need to take drugs 
Well, they can look at them all they want, but they're still. But the, the point is, they they had to invent they had to invent little blue pills. They had to invent little blue pills. They had to invent little pills for guys who have to look at their forty five year old wives naked. I'm not forty five. Whatever you are. are Good looking w- women who are like 40 in the face, but body wise, I'm not sure. I've never seen like a naked 40 year old lady. Yeah, like but, 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 but we've got experience and we can. Uh, we we can't, we don't want to hear about your experience. What do you look like? If we don't like the way you look, it doesn't matter what you have. Well, if you didn't like the way we looked in the first place, you want to be with us. Generally, we're not. Yeah, if you're kind of ragged but, and weathered looking, we're not going to go past, you know, right. talking to. And well, if you were with me in the first place, then that means that's what you wanted. You made a commitment, then you make it. If you don't want to be with me, then tell me you don't want me to be want to be with but me. But that's why I tell guys you me, you said what's you wrong with like you said job. wait 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 that you said you wait like a minute job. wait a minute you said what's wrong with the institution of marriage and I go back to what I said why buy when you can lease if 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 you lease you always but have a new car every two years. Buy. Then keep it forever. But that's my point. Just don't buy anything and just keep leasing. Well, what's the point of that? Because then you always have a brand new model. And why would you do that? So that you don't get wrinkles, crow's feet, menopause, yeah, well, you're not get wrinkles, osteoporosis, you know that, other problems that come up. Not a woman who's devoted. Who wants to be with a woman with a little menopausal mustache? Are you kidding that. me? Believe me, there are women out there who have... The intent to make their man the most happiest. Uh, I don't care what their intent is. Earth. I don't care what their intent is, dear. A, a young, fresh woman, hot out of the oven. There's nothing like that. Oh, so you're saying they might as well screw their own daughter then? No. Well, I put it this way: I've been with women who are uh, young enough to be my daughter and younger. That's wrong. What's wrong with that? Because you're disrespecting your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Well, you said you I are, usually I have you other people, darling. I don't have a daughter. One. I've had so other, you, okay, darling. You're you not have... hearing me. I, I I never said I had a daughter. I, I have said that I've had other people's daughters. I have done that. Okay, and imagine if you were their father, and their father knew that they were with you. I, what do you uh, I, when did I ever suggest incest on this program? I said well, I am I with women young that. enough saying, to be my daughter. So what? You were doing your own daughter. I said, What's wrong imagine, with being with women young enough to be my own daughter? daughter? What do I care? What is wrong with being a, with a woman? What is wrong with a woman who's a, a young enough to be my daughter? What's wrong with that? Why can't you have someone your own age? I don't need what's to. Wrong with because that? I can get someone younger. But why would... Well, what's the point in that? But the you point is, sense. what is the point? Every man can tell yeah. you, we want you them legal. Well, again, we want them legal, but up. No Do you life. ever shut up? Am I going to shut up? Do you ever shut up? Uh, evidently, I don't. Yeah, evidently, you don't, dear. Wikis. Tom Likis. So you're just looking for that. Of course. You must be a new listener. You must be kidding. You think that's what makes people happy? That's what, I'll tell you what, that's what makes men happy. It's the Tom Likas Show. Show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Okay. We're talking about relationships where you're with a girl who insists on going out to clubs with the girls all the time, going out to bars where people hook up. Why would you want to be in a relationship with an aunt? Michael on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I've been listening to your show for a few years now, and I, I, today's show really caught my attention. Because I'm one of those guys, um, I used to tell my girlfriend, you know, I, I want to go to the bar. It's, I need a change of atmosphere. You know what? Maybe back in the day when I was first dating her, that I guess the more reason for that, anybody that's saying that, is because you basically haven't gotten over the fact of, being single and all, and then becoming into a relationship. And the people that are still fighting, saying they want to go, 
Well, that's the single side of them trying either one way. One's trying to fight fight its way out, basically. And which one is are you going to choose? Are you in a relationship or do you want to be single? And that goes both ways. And it's funny whether you had male callers or female callers. They all said the same thing when it came down to their relationships. It was always their ex. Well, my ex this. Well, hello, that's why you're going to clubs, because you were never really into a relationship in the first place. And what you were saying is, well, yeah, if you're, you know, kind of dating, you don't care what they do. But once you're in a serious relationship, well, what's the point of going to those places anyway? They're not really that good. You brought up all the cost of drinks and everything else. And I also have a, you know, little place I like to go, you know, more of a family environment, where if my girlfriend went by herself, I wouldn't have an issue with that. And Let her go bowling. You know, it's funny. That's what we do. We do go bowling. We go bowling all the time. And then we'll stop and maybe go to a pub to have a drink. She'll shoot some pool or something. So, I mean, I don't see any problem with that. But, you know, this desire for all these people, they all have the same thing in common. Uh, the people they're referring to is exes. And if they're in a current relationship and they still have the desire, well, they have no business being in the relationship. Because I've noticed as I get older – and being in a relationship for a while, that just doesn't seem as intriguing as it used to be. And anybody that says otherwise, obviously they're either too young or they're just not in the right relationship because that desire would end up going away. Yeah. I just, there's just no fun in it. And I believe me, I've done, I've done the bar scene. I've gone all kinds of places and done that. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's why you know what goes on at clubs. And, oh, exactly. Now, something else that's funny... Um, there's one female caller that was on about five minutes ago. She was talking about, um, you asked her about, you know, women getting better as they get older. And she was arguing. You brought up Brooke Shields. You know, she was just, just to argue. I mean, she knew she had no basis on what she's saying. Of course, Brooke Shields isn't as good looking as she used to be. And instead of just being honest, she tried to, you know, play the, you know, mind game, which is not going to work with you. But what's funny is, I don't think you really believe on what you were saying, unless you're looking for a woman just for a piece. And if you want, you know, some, if you're not really looking for a relationship, well, of course, just go find some hot looking chick and who cares? But in a relationship, and this is maybe she's not in a good relationship, even as a woman's getting older, certain looks might not be the same. But if you guys have some type of connection, you guys are happy together. That's the hardest thing to find with anybody. I mean, you can go, I can go find a chick right now. But to find someone that I actually can hang out with and enjoy the company, now that's something hard that's hard to find. And when you with somebody in a relationship for a while, then you, you'll either grow even closer together or you'll grow apart. And a lot of people grow apart because they really don't even know what they're looking for anyway, and they don't really right. care. Yep. I totally agree, Michael. Thank you very much for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Christina. She's listening to the online stream from Sacramento on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. hello. Yes. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Hello, Tom. How are you doing? Do you care, Christina? I do care. I'm doing great. I I'm, I'm just excited. I finally got through. I've never called a radio station before, so it's pretty uh, pretty fun. Um, I've been listening today, and I've listened a couple times to work, and uh, it's a very cool show. I like to listen to it. And I totally agree with the last caller. That guy had a head on his shoulders, and I do believe girls that I, I agree with you, girls that want to go out and, and, you know, to clubs, they're – pretty insecure or they're bored with their dudes and they just want to get attention from other guys and I don't, I'm not convinced the girls that say they don't care about attention because I don't care subconsciously that they do somehow everybody wants attention like that um, and I just had a question for you I wanted to put you in a scenario if like your dudes or your friends or maybe your brothers like had a bachelor party and it was in Vegas and would you, and you know, just strictly for partying, would you go, you know, leave the wife or whatever girlfriend? I have never been to a bachelor party. Never. Whether I'm in a relationship or not. And do you know why? Because I couldn't care less about strippers. Okay. I've never paid for sex, and I have never paid for a woman to take her clothes off, ever. And I object to the idea, even if I'm not the one paying. Your best friend or, or your brother getting married, and they're like, oh, "My brother, my party. brother got married. I was not there." 
I was not at the bachelor party, no. Were you in a relationship or just you didn't care to go? I never care to go. Okay. I just don't like it. But that's no not way. because I'm, but by the way, that's not because I'm on good behavior or anything like that, because uh, believe me, I'm. You just, just don't enjoy it. I, if 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 I'm looking at a naked woman, I couldn't potentially have sex with. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, well, just to go and party, you know, not like any, you know, maybe strippers aren't involved or whatever. I mean, they probably will be because it's a bachelor party. But you know, just to go and party because you're back. Well, again, your example's not going to work here because you're barking up the wrong tree. I have no interest in that. And what? I have no interest in that. I, 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 by the way, I think mo I, most guys do, but not me. To celebrate someone getting married? No. I, okay. If well, I'm going to celebrate, okay. you know what? That's what a reception is for. You want to celebrate people getting married? Go to their reception. That's awesome. But That's again, awesome. it's not because I'm trying to be a good guy. Because I have invaded bachelorette parties. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't look at that and say, "Oh, you know what a nice guy." This, you know, he he just doesn't care about strippers. No, I mean he or he doesn't want to. You know, deal with that, and you know, because a lot of girls are going to have a problem with that, and uh, girls that think they're independent, and you know, say they're well, I'm just going out to clubs to have fun. They don't want their their guys to go out and and do that, so it's like contradicting. But for the the you know, if someone's going to go like to a, you know Vegas or whatever, I've never ever heard a dude saying like, oh, I wouldn't want to go, or I just don't enjoy it. So. You're absolutely right. Well, but it's not that I don't laundry. enjoy it because I miss my wife or I miss my girlfriend. I don't enjoy it because I don't like the idea of paying women to take their clothes off. I, I, it offends me. As it, as it should. Uh, if a woman or takes her clothes it, off, she's doing it for free. Well, what it, you know, you're going to a party and there's no strippers. There's just girls around. If there you're were slutty girls them. taking their clothes off, absolutely I'd be there, but not for strippers. <laughs> If you're in a relationship too, uh, it hasn't come up because yeah. I don't I don't know of any ba bachelor parties. Pretty much follow the same routine. Guys rent a bunch of DVDs and they call <laughs> they call a stripper or two, and the boom box arrives, and then that that's what it is. Yeah, and then right. the stripper right. either just does her little show or she performs sex acts, depending on what state you're in or how much you pay. And it's pretty lame for any dude to want to go do that if they're in a relationship. I to think. me, I mean, anybody who gets understand. excited about a bachelor party has no game and can't find chicks. But in many cases, there are also guys who are in relationships who aren't getting what they want at home. So the, to them, this is exciting. Right. But as a guy who lives alone and can do whatever he wants anytime he wants, it holds yeah, no interest story. for me at all. None. That's great. Okay. Awesome. Well, it was awesome to talk to you. I'm sure it has been. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. <laughs> this is uh, David on the Tom Likas show. Father Tom, how's it going? I'm doing okay, son. All right. First time, long time. Yeah. I think I fit your demographic pretty good, raised by a single mother. Um, but uh, my mom taught me to go ahead and carry what I got and carry it with pride and be a man and everything. Um, I'm pushing, uh, I got my birthday coming up here in a couple weeks. I'm pushing uh, the 40 range and my wife, she's got her birthday two days before me. Uh, I agree with you 100%. The older you get, things start slowing down and you start wondering, well, what the hell? Because this isn't what I got into, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. I got four kids. Um, for me, the issue with my wife is, you know, we're currently experiencing some uh, medical issues that are sort of causing things to be on the low side, if you will, for, you know, in the bedroom. Uh -huh. But, you know, love her to death. She loves me to death. Uh, we're a good fit. But, you know, you start, you start wondering, well, what the hell happened? Again, I, I got to throw it back to, you know, we've got a current medical issue that she's currently experiencing. She's actually on her way to the doctors today. Uh, here, you know, as I'm as I'm talking to you, she's probably walking in the office and everything. So we got something that's you know affecting it outside the box. But things do start to slow down, and you start to wonder, you know, what the hell happened. But uh, you know, my current situation, it's all right. You write it out. You loving, supporting. You do what you got to do, and 
Oh, boy. Being married sounds like a ball. The Tom Likas Show.